we have, uh, uh, as far as an insect problem that I wanted to talk about, here we have a really heavy infestation of yucca bug that, is, that are on these yuccas. And as you can see here, as we start looking at these leaves, uh, this, there's a lot of the bugs that are crawling along here. And they uh, have the potential to cause a lot of injury to a yucca plant. Um, in this case, because it's a bug, it has piercing and sucking mouth parts. Uh, so it is sucking plant juices, and that's why you see what we uh, often refer to here on the leaves as stippling damage. And as these uh, bugs build up um, over the season and uh, continue to suck on the leaves, they start turning them yellow so that they look sickly, and you see a lot of that stippling injury. And they're actually uh, capable of really setting back a, a yucca plant. Um, this particular bug overwinters on the yucca plant as eggs. So at the beginning of the year, when things start warming up, they're already there to get ready to start. They can pro they go through a generation in about 30 days. And we probably see somewhere, I, I would guess in Oklahoma, somewhere between uh, four and five generations per year. So they can continue to build up through the summer. They have some natural enemies, but uh, there's not really a lot of things. Obviously, in this case, the natural enemies haven't done uh, a very good job. I would suggest, if you want to keep your yuccas healthy and, and, and looking good, um, that you need to treat these things. And I, I would also suggest uh, maybe trying to catch that first generation as, as those eggs are hatching when they're still young. Um, for those, you know, there, there are a number of products you can use. Uh, on an ornamental that are registered for ornamentals that would work very well on these uh, for an organic producer um, if you use something like pyrethrum or uh, uh, as a uh, organic solution maybe synergize a little bit or uh, use uh, pyrethrum plus soaps or things like that you should probably be able to get pretty good control especially if you get on them uh, say in April, May when that first generation is hatching um, because then you're really stopping that cycle of continuing to build up through the year. <clears throat> but uh, uh, if, basically these things can be found anywhere you're going to find yuccas. They only feed on yuccas. Um, I believe there are a couple of varieties of yuccas that are less susceptible and some of them are more susceptible. Uh, but uh, for the most part these things will be found on any yucca plant that uh, that uh, is planted and, and they'll find them sooner or later. Um, one of the things I do want to point out, people will often mistake these as a beetle because of their shape, but they are not a beetle, they don't chew, they actually have piercing and sucking mouth parts and they are a true bug.